Hey guys, this is Pastor Tim, lead pastor at City Church of the Treasure Coast. Thank you for joining us again. The honor and the privilege of coming into your home through Facebook or Instagram or YouTube tonight for seven on the seven. It is our nightly time in God's word during these trying, trying times. We want to be a beacon of light, a beacon of hope. We want to put a smile on your face, uh, not just a smile because of us, but we want to put a Holy Ghost smile on your face that you know God has you. God has got your back. Now, uh, John 16, 33, I've been sharing this almost every night. It says, I've told you these things so that in me you may have peace. In this world you will have trouble, but take heart, I have overcome the world. And so what I want you to know as we dive back into God's word here today is that you will overcome because he has already overcome any obstacle, any problem. Now, the last time we were together, we looked at Elijah. Elijah declared, there is no rain. He closed up the markets. He quarantined the market on rain and growth. And then the next thing you knew, uh, God put him to a miraculous place of provision in the desert. And then God said, guess what? I'm drying up that source and I have now something else for you. It's time for you to get moving. And so we've declared the last few days that God is our source. There's many systems that the Lord allows us to, to use and that we walk through, but he ultimately is our source. And so let's look a little more at a couple of situations in the Bible, including Elijah. Let's look at Elijah's new source when the river runs dry, when the brook dries up. He sends him to a widow in Zarephath here in 1 Kings 17. Now, Zarephath is the Mecca of idol worship. So he literally goes from a place of peace, quiet, Jimmy and John the Raven, home food delivery, fresh water. He literally gets moved from that place of being able to pray and be in God's presence, uh, we would imagine, alone without much noise, to the Mecca, the big city of sin, of idol worship, of godlessness, the den of the lion, the nest of the mama gator. If you're out there in Florida, you know that's not a good place to be. The web of the spider. If you've seen Lord of the Rings, you don't want to be anywhere close to that spider. And and so, you know, he, he says, I'm calling you now to step back. You, he, now remember, Elijah proclaimed judgment on all of these idol worshipers. And now God says, you are going to go to the center, main street, the, the, the capital. You are going to go right into where they are as my servant and as my messenger. And as for your new provision, because there's still no rain. As for the way that you're going to get food, I'm sending you to, drum roll, somebody give me a drum roll, where is he going? I'm sending you to a widow. Now, church, not just a widow, but a poor widow. And in these times, it really meant that you in most cases were financially destitute if you were a widow. And what I want you to see with Elijah, God will test our faith. He will send us to new places. And a lot of times in the natural, those places make no sense to us. Our minds can't conceive. You know, the Bible says you can't conceive what God has prepared for those who love him. Sometimes you can't conceive it because you're like, no, Lord, no. I don't want to conceive it. I don't want what you have. Because in the natural, it makes no sense to me. But I want you to understand that God is sending Elijah and he's sending you. Young man, young woman, friend if you're shut into a nursing home tonight or you're in the hospital tonight, God is sending you or has sent you where you are to produce a supernatural outcome. It doesn't look right to us in the natural, but it's going to produce a supernatural outcome that will change or make history. And I love it because Elijah doesn't whine and cry. I would have whined and cried. I would have wanted to stay with Jimmy and John the Raven. Elijah doesn't whine and cry. He goes. He gets up and he goes. He trusts God. He knows that God is his source, not the system. God is it, not the paycheck, not the government. God, not, not the stock market. God is his source, not, not the system. And so we saw this with Joseph in the Old Testament. Genesis chapter 45. Joseph is talking to his family with an amazing amount of forgiveness, but he recognizes that God is the source. Verse 5 of Genesis 45 through 8. And now do not be distressed and do not be angry with yourselves for selling me here because it was to save lives that God sent me ahead of you. Now, church, you understand 
He went in slavery, he got beaten down, he got disowned. That was the vehicle. That was the system that got him to Egypt. And he says, don't be distressed, don't be angry, my brothers. It was to save lives that God sent me. God is the one that sent me. Even if you guys sinned in the process, God is the one that sent me. Verse 6, for two years now, there has been a famine in the land. And for the next five years, there will be no plowing and reaping. But God sent me ahead of you to preserve for you a remnant on earth and to save your lives by a great deliverance. Verse 8, so then it was not you who sent me here, but God, but God. See, guys, I got to tell you tonight, God can use anyone, anywhere, anytime to provide provision. I got to say that again to you guys. He can use anyone, anywhere, at any time to provide provision provision because God is the source. The widow wasn't the source. The ravens weren't the source. The coat of many colors and his daddy was not the source for Joseph. Your family is not the source. We love our families. That's not our source. Your job is not your source. Your IRA is not your source. Many of you know, unfortunately, your paycheck is not your source. God is your source. So we have to ask ourselves, do I know him today? Do I trust him today? Or do I trust in idols? Here's what I want you to realize tonight. I overcome, John 16, I overcome by knowing my source. His name is Jesus. I overcome by knowing my source. His name is Jesus. Hebrews 5, 9 says, And once made perfect, Jesus became the source of eternal salvation for all who obey him. See, Elijah knew the rain was not what he needed. He needed the H2O of Jesus of God, of the Holy Spirit in his life, just like we do. And if I didn't have that water flowing in my life, I'd be as dry as a bone, dried up without God. But the water of his word flows in. The system is not what's important. The source is what is important. His word is our source for salvation, for living. His word is our source to live and not to perish, no matter what pandemic we face, no matter what financial loss we face, no matter what health challenge we face, go on down the line, emotional, spiritual. Tonight, we realize that we overcome by knowing Jesus, by knowing Jesus. Let's pray tonight. And if you're out there and you don't know him, I want you tonight to give your life to him. I want you to give your heart to him. Will you bow your head with me right where you're at? Will you say this prayer with me? Say, Lord Jesus, stretch out your hand. Say, Lord Jesus, tonight I give you my life. Lord Jesus, tonight I surrender all. Jesus, forgive my sin. I need you to rush in and forgive everything. Tonight I say that I am not the leader of my life, but I ask you, Lord Jesus, to lead and direct my life. My heart and my hands are yours. My feet and my mind are yours. I give you everything in Jesus' name. If you said that prayer, I believe that you have been made new. In fact, it's what we call a Christian. You are a Christian. You are my brother and my sister. You are family tonight. And when we get back together, I want you to email pt at city churchtreasurecoast.com, pt at citychurchtreasurecoast.com, and let me know that you said the prayer tonight. Say, I said the prayer, and I'm going to reach out to you, and we're going to reach out to you, and we're going to grow in our faith and grow in this walk, and, and God and Jesus will be our source tonight. Thank you for joining us tonight, Now I want to encourage you to go to citychurchtreasurecoast.com and give us a financial gift tonight so we can continue to do this broadcast, continue to reach out to hundreds of families on the Treasure Coast with food and, and needs that they have at this time. If you'll make a donation today by credit card or check of $5, $25, $100, whatever it is, we can use it during this time and uh, we so appreciate it. And so go there today, make that gift. We love you. We're looking out for you. More importantly, God loves you. And listen, God's got your back. He is your source. Join us tomorrow for seven on the seven every night at seven o'clock. God bless you.